Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate USSD, how to build a USSD application using PHP. So first of all, you need to have an account with African Stocking. So you can either visit their website and create an account and get started by clicking login and you create an account with them. Well, once you have an account with African Stocking, it's one thing that you need to have an a hosting platform, a cPanel. So this is my own cPanel. So I'll be using this particular folder, USSD. And this is the link that is tied to this particular USSD application. So this is my African stocking dashboard. So I'll click on go to sandbox app. Okay. Wait for it to load. My login session has, has expired. Mm. So the sand the sandbox is the environment where you use to test your application. So it's not real time, it's just a testing application. So when you intend to go for productivity mode, like the production mode, you can actually switch to the normal mode. So this is my sandbox environment. Next thing I need to do is I need to click on USSD. If I click on USSD, I need to click on service code. These are the service code available. I'm going to I'm going to come to create channel. Create channel. So I'm going to call this let's say one, two, three, four. Sorry. So let's go with one, two, three. And then I'm going to copy the link. So I'll be using index.php. So whenever I dial that particular code. The code that is tied on this index.php will be the file, the server where the, the USD application talks to. So, and I'm going to paste https stateup.com slash usd slash index.php. I'm going to create the channel. Okay, the channel is, is, una, is un, unavailable. This means that. A particular user has actually bought purchased this particular code. Someone is using this particular code. So I can just go with these suggestions by giving me and I create the channel has been created. So let me get rid of this. So I had this is this is the channel. This is the channel. So <clears throat> So I need to go a dashboard. I need to launch simulator. Now this simulator is a manual phone. A manual phone where I can use to test my sandbox environment. So I'll go with this. You can actually you can actually input a dummy number. A domain number and I'm going to launch it. Okay, ready by now, user. Okay, keep on trying to get the correct number. Okay. So this is my simulator. I've successfully logged into my simulator. So on the simulator, I can access my USSD, my SMS, my I can payment, airtime, and voice. So for now, I'm interested in the USSD. So I need to click on the USSD, and I need to copy this code. Go to my USSD, the service code. So and I'll copy this code. 
I'll take it here and I'm going to call. So let's see what happens first. Dear customer, network is experiencing technical problems and your request will not proceed with striking letter. Reason, the, the reason for this is because I've not set up this file. So let me set up this file. Okay, my name is on PHP. And let's start writing code. So this is their documentation page, which we are working with the doc documentation page. Okay. So have this. Let's try something. Okay. 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 Still having technical issues. Okay. So this is their documentation page. So from this page, I'll be. I can, you can see the USSD. On the left hand part, so I'll click on here and I'll click on overview. So you can go through this to see how it works for better understanding and to actually improve your code performance. So well, my major concern is I need to copy this my bit. I need to copy this my bit here. Yeah? And Take it to my code. I'm going to paste it here. So let's go back and test the application. So let's click on this. They ask you what 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 would you like to do? My account press on. So I'll click send. Enter your account number two three five four two three two three two three send. Okay, so let me explain how this works. So, for every request, every request sent by your USSD code, it has a particular session, session ID. So that ID is actually stored in a post variable called session ID. And we have something else like the service code. And we also have the phone number of the person that's actually sending this particular information. And we also have the text that the person has sent. So by default, the text is always empty. By default, the text is always empty. So whenever you want to start the response, you need to use con. So now, these are all the parameters that the application I've sent to this index.php file. So what happens is there's a code here to now check if the text is empty because by default the text will be empty. So if the text is empty, the response should be con. You start the response, you start the, the response with the code. You start the you start the response with, with con and you now ask the person what would you want to check? So yeah, I'm gonna change this to I'm gonna change this to what is your name. Okay. And the second thing is the response. Use this sign forward slash n to break to new paragraph so we have utterly break this particular page this particular line sorry and you follow by the second stuff we have here my account my phone and the second thing is now you need to be very 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 you need to be very very wise in terms of this year the application now this is the first response to get from the person and the second thing is, 
you need to stand say else if if the text is equals to one choose account information you want to view then if the information is equals to two enter your phone number your phone number then you will use the statement n to end the command we use the statement end to end the command now this one times one means this one times one means that the person actually selected one and also selected one again so that we we have one times one the person select one the first option was one and the person actually selected another one again so it will be one times one if it is one times three times it will be one times one times times another one times another one so if it's two times like the person selected one and selected two to be this so you have to query whatever you you, you want and you can always use the session id to actually check if the person is still the user so now what happens is you can get the session id from the request that have been sent to your file and now say and now save this user as you create you create a profile for this person and now interfere with whatever the person is doing so if the person comes into the application with this session id you save the person on your database then you ask the person what the person wants to do whatever the person is doing you keep on saving saving the person's activity till you, you now deliver whatever the person is looking for so that's the end of this tutorial if you have any other if you have any complaint you can always um get back to me on the section part of this i'm going to i'm going to do another video that's going to explain and what you need to know about the sandbox and the african stocking so if you have any other if you have any any question you can leave it at the at uh, the comment section i'm going to paste the the link to the african stocking the documentation page this page on the section on the comment box thank you